Good morning children welcome back in today's session we are going to discuss class 7 term 2 unit 1 in civics state government evaluation come children let us learn Roman number 1 choose the correct answer question number 1 What is the minimum age for becoming a member of the state legislative council? What is the minimum age for becoming a member of the state legislative council? Options are 18 years, 21 years, 25 years, 30 years. The answer is 25 years. Question number 2. How many states does India have? How many states does India have? Options are 26, 27, 28, 29. The answers are 29. The states may vary. Question number 3. The word state government refers to The word state government refers to government departments in the state, legislative assembly, both A and B, B none of the above. and the answer is both a and b question number 4 the overall head of the government in the state is the dash the overall head of the government in the state is dash president prime minister governor chief minister the answer is governor the overall head of the government in the state is the governor question number 5 who appoints the chief minister and other ministers who appoints the chief minister and other ministers options are president prime minister governor election commissioner and the answer is governor governor appoints the chief minister and other ministers question number 6 who becomes the chief minister who becomes the chief minister options are leader of the majority party leader of the opposition party both none and the answer is leader of the majority party question number 7 what are the three branches of the state government what are the three branches of the state government mayor governor mla panchayat municipality corporation village city state legislative executive and judiciary the answer is legislative executive and judiciary let us see roman number 2 fill in the blanks question number 1 the governor is appointed by the dash the governor is appointed by the dash answer is president the governor is appointed by the president question number 2 The leader of the majority party is appointed as dash in the state assembly. The leader of the majority party is appointed as dash in the state assembly. Answer is chief minister. Chief minister. Question number 3. Dash is the highest judicial organ of the state. Dash is the highest judicial organ of the state. Answer is high court. High court is the highest judicial organ of the state. Question number 4. MLA stands for dash. MLA stands for dash. Answer is member of legislative assembly. MLA stands for member of legislative assembly. Question number 5. Dash is a particular area from where all the voters living there choose their representative. Dash is a particular area from where all the voters living there choose their representative. Answer is constituency. Constituency. Question number 6. The elected representatives who are not the member of ruling party are called dash. The elected representatives who are not the member of ruling party are called dash. Answer is opposition party. Roman number 3 match the following MLA's secretariat governor 
Chief Minister, Head of the State, Union Territories, Legislative Assembly, Fort St. George, Leader of the Majority Party. And the answers are MLAs, Legislative Assembly, Governor, Head of the State, Chief Minister, Leader of the Majority Party, Union Territories, 7, Fort St. George, Secretariat. Roman number 4. Consider the following statement and tick the appropriate answer. Question number 1. Which of the following statement is or are are not correct? To become governor, 1. Should be the citizen of India. Should have completed 25 years of age. Should have sound mind. Should not hold any office of profit. Options are 1. A and B. 2. C and D. 3. A. 4. B. And the answer is B. Should have completed 25 years of age. Question number 2. Consider the following statement and state true or false. A. MLAs are together responsible for the working of the government. Answer is true. All the MLAs of other political party who do not belong to the ruling party are called opposition. Answer is true. MLAs are not representatives of people. Answer is false. MLAs are representatives of people. Question number 3. Find out the correct meaning of the bicameral legislature. Option A. It means that there are three cameras in the legislature. B. It means the legislature has men and women members. It means that there are two houses like upper house and lower house. It means that the governor is a leader over the members of the legislature. The answer is C. It means that there are two houses like upper house and lower house. Question number 4. Assertion. India has a federal system of government. Reason. According to our constitution, the power is divided between central and state governments. Option A. A is correct and R explains A. Option B. A is correct and R does not explain A. Option C. A is correct and R is wrong. Option B. Both are wrong. The answer is A is correct and R explains A. Roman number 5. Answer in one or two sentences. Question number 1. What are the qualifications to become the governor of a state? What are the qualifications to become the governor of the state? The governor should be the citizen of India. He should have completed 35 years of age. The governor should have sound mind and should not hold any public office of profit. Question number 2. Who are called oppositions? Who are called oppositions? The party which gets the total number of seats next to the majority party is called opposition party. The party which gets the total number of seats next to the majority party is called the opposition party. Write a note on Log Adalat. Write a note on Log Adalat. Log Adalat is a people's court established by the government of India to settle dispute through conciliation and compromise. Question number four. What is a constituency? What is a constituency? The constituency is the division in the state on the basis of the population. The entire state is divided into several constituencies. Constituency is the division in the state on the basis of population. The entire state is divided into several constituencies. Question number 5. Who appoints the chief minister and other ministers? Who appoints the chief minister and other ministers? The answer is the governor appoints the chief minister and other ministers. Now let us move on to Roman number 6. Answer the following in detail. Question number 1. Describe the powers of the governor. Describe the powers of the governor. Governor is the head of the state executive. All the administration works are carried out by his name. All bills become law only after his assent. 
He appoints important officials of the state government such as Advocate General, Chairman, State Public Service Commission, State Election Commissioner, Vice Chancellors of State Universities, etc. Question number two, who is an MLA? Who is an MLA? The member of the Legislative Assembly is called MLA. They are elected by the people through general election. The candidate who gets the more number of votes become MLA. MLAs are the representatives of the people. Moving to question number three, what is the role of Chief Minister and other Council of Ministers at the state level? What is the role of the Chief Minister and other Council of Ministers at the state level? The Chief Minister is a real executive head of the state administration. He allocates the portfolios among the ministers. The Chief Minister formulates programs and policies for the welfare of the people of the state. Council of Ministers All the ministers work as a team under the Chief Minister. The Council of Ministers is collectively responsible to the State Legislature and Legislative Assembly of the State. Roman number 9 Hots Question number 1 Name some departments of the government. Name some departments of the government. Some departments of the government are Agricultural Department, Energy Department, Health and Family Welfare Department, Industries Department, Law Department, Public Works Department, School Education Department, Transport Department, Youth Welfare and Sports Department, Finance Department, etc. Question number 2. Tablate, Qualification, Appointment and any two powers of Governor, Chief Minister and MLAs. Governor. Qualification is, he should be a citizen of India above 35 years of age, sound mind, appointed by the President. The powers are, all administration is carried on his name. He appoints important officials of the state government. Chief Minister, qualification above 25 years of age, should be an MLA, appointment appointed by the Governor. Powers, Chief Minister formulates officials and plans for the welfare of the people. He is a real executive head. MLAs, qualification above 25 years of age, appointment as elected by the people. Powers, responsible for slate legislative assembly and all ministers work as a team with chief minister. With that, we wind up today's session, my dear children. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Samchir Kalvi Guide, exclusively for Samchir Kalvi classes and solutions to book back exercises. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed.